Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have a Brave Browser update, which started rolling out late yesterday in my region on the 23rd of October. And these are the weekly Chromium security fixes that will obviously arrive in the other Chromium-based web browsers. And we also get a couple of bug fixes and improvements that have rolled out for Brave. But first of all, um, to double check, we have the update. As always, we head to our main menu, Help, about Brave, and the browser version is now sitting on version 1.71.118. That's been bumped up from 0.114, and the Chromium platform is now sitting on version and build 130.0.6723.70, and that's exactly the same now as the Google Chrome web browser. Now, first of all, um, let's just focus on the security fixes. There are three Chromium security fixes that have rolled out for this week. And thankfully, there are no zero days that have been exploited in the wild, and there are no critical vulnerabilities. We get three high severity flaws that have been fixed, which are common exploits uh, in the Chromium browsers, like inappropriate implementation in extensions, type confusion in the V8 JavaScript engine, and there are two for type confusion in V8. So just three security fixes addressing three high severity security flaws. Now, focusing on some of the improvements and fixes that have rolled out, if you are using the wallet, the Web3 cryptocurrency uh, in the browser, there is a security fix and um, that's rolled out for that, which is always good. And then they've updated the default search engine to Brave Search for new installations in Australia. And here's an important one. They fixed a crash which occurred when the browser window was reduced to the smallest size in certain cases. So that's quite an important fix. And also any crash that's addressed is an important fix. And then if we just head to our settings once again, and we head over to sync. As you may well know, Brave uses a sync chain to sync between your different devices. And they fixed certain cases where synced devices could be duplicated on the sync chain. And that actually has affected me from time to time, where I would see duplicated devices and you'd have to manually delete them. And that now seems to be finally be fixed and addressed. And it makes me think why Brave took so long, because I've had that problem for a long time. But hopefully that will fix the issue where um, sync devices could be du duplicated on the sync chain. And those are the fixes, guys. And as mentioned, the important bit with this is the security fixes that have rolled out for the Chromium platform. And of course, that crash fix and that little niggly issue with the sync chain have also been um, fixed and addressed. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.